Hey what's up guys in today's video I am going to show you how to use WooCommerce single product page hooks in WordPress so let's start so guys first of all this is the single product page in the WordPress first of all you have to search for WooCommerce single product page hooks and you have to click on this link after that this is the single product page design WooCommerce plugin use this design and this is the hook by using that we can design the WooCommerce single product page for example by using this hook you can add the text or anything in this section so I am going to use it just copy paste and search it so this is the action hook and I am going to call into my code so in this action hook you have to replace it and this is the my function name and this is priority and this is the parameters for example now we have zero parameter I can skip this also so I am going to display something in my single product page So I am going to save it and refresh my frontend page. So as you can see this is custom text is showing now there and I have used this hook. And by this way you can use other hooks for example now I am going to use this hook. And the same text. And now the same text is showing there. And if I want to show my text just below the short description of the WordPress in product page. For this I am going to use this hook. So now my text is showing there. And if I want to show the text just below the variation options. For this I am going to use this. So now my text is showing there you can style it and you can show anything you want you can also show the text just below the product so now my text is showing there so by this way you can add text in anywhere in the WooCommerce single product page now I am going to use the product ID from the product object so this is the way we can get the ID of the product so now I am going to use post meta of this product for this I am going to use get post meta I am going to initialize my variable and I am going to use get post meta So first of all I am going to give it product ID and then the post meta which I am going to get for example price is the meta of the product now I am going to call this variable So this is the product price which I have got from the post meta by using product ID of the product. So I am going to open my PHP my admin. So I am going to check my product ID which is 11 and I am going to get the data of this product ID. So this is the meta of the product. I can get any data from the product by the ID. So as you can see the value from this meta just got. 
so guys by this way you can use this single product page hooks and you can get anything from the product object by using product id of the object so you just have to call this action hooks so guys if you find my video useful don't forget like subscribe and share thanks for watching